Hi, my name is Jacob Bakowski and I'm a senior lead applications engineer here at Go Engineer. And today we're going to be looking at how to use SOLIDWORKS and XShape with 3D Interconnect um, in tandem. Alright, we're going to start out here in XShape. And to start out, we're going to press Import File. And we're going to choose a file on disk here. And we're going to choose a step file that we downloaded from GrabCAD. I'm going to choose the file here, and that's the step file for a Galaxy tablet. And I'm going to put it in my space called the AE Working Area. This is where we're, we're all working on this file with my team. And press Import. And it'll create a file with the same name as the file that you import in here. But you can double click slowly and you can change that name. And we're going to call it Tablet Holder. And so now I'm going to start out, I have my subdivisions. And I want the best subdivision that's going to create the shape I need here. So I have a list of available primitives that I can start out with. But I believe that personal favorite is the box and the quad ball. But I think the box is going to be the best right now. So I'm going to select the box and place that on the origin. But then I'm going to make that mid-plane on the origin. And we're simply going to rotate and scale this so that it envelops this primitive envelop the, ta the, tablet. the galaxy tablet. Just like that. And hit the green check. Then we're going to change transparency and change it so that we can see the tablet inside of our subdivision here. And I'm going to start out by thinning this out. So I'll click in the graphics area. I'm going to change this top part to show cage and surface for the initial shape. So I can see the cage around the surface here. And here's the back camera lens. So I'm going to start moving the subdivision with my arrow and by dragging. And we're going to push both of them in. And now I actually don't need these two loops in the middle here. So I'm going to press the delete loops button. And delete each loop here. And I'm going to delete that one too. Okay. Once I have it nice and thin, I'm actually going to push all of the points on this side over here beyond so that the face sticks out of the tablet. Because I'm going to do some alignment. Now we're going to face all of these pieces, but we only want the front ones. So we're going to do just the visible elements here and drag a box around these visible elements. And we'll see that it only grabs the front ones. And we're going to do align with entities, align the cage points. Remember, these are the cage points. So that's why we have the cage shown. And we're going to align to this top face right here so that it aligns those points with that face just like that. So almost it blends inside. Now we're going to add symmetry. And we're going to choose this plane right here for symmetry. And hit the green check. And we're just going to make this a little wider. Let's undo that. We want to make sure that we grab every point. So we'll unselect all visible elements. We'll do that again. We'll push these sides out. Just like that. And on the underside, I'd like to make a nice area to for our hands to grab. So I'm going to shift, hold control and select these three edges here and push them up slightly so that it pushes up on both ends and just see what the surface looks like only here. We'll pull these up just a little bit and if we click this arrow, click this number, we're going to give it a hard value of an extra millimeter and we're going to push this back
negative one millimeter. Okay. And push that in just like this. So it has a nice shape. And hit the green check when we're done. Okay, so I like this, this new pillow-like shape for our tablet holder. And so now we're gonna save this onto the cloud by pressing save. And then export, export this out. We can export this to the 3D drive or a file on disk. I'm gonna call this tablet holder V2. And I'm gonna say this is a solid XML so that I can bring this easily into SolidWorks and press export. And wait till the internet says that it's downloaded. Now, we're gonna flip into SolidWorks. To use this in SolidWorks, I'm now going to go File, New, and start with a new part, millimeters. I'm gonna make this in millimeters. We want this to be the top level feature in the feature tree. So we're gonna go Insert, but before we insert this in, we need to double check. So let's go to our options, import options, and ensure that enable 3D interconnect is checked for this to work. Enable 3D interconnect and hit OK. Now we're going to press insert part browse and browse for the file that we just created. Now we see the line in the caret that represents that this is an externally referenced part. If we take off the edges, we'll be able to see how smooth this part is. Now I want to make some edits to this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy the tablet body. just make a simple copy of it so we can use it for later. No translation or rotation. And then we're going to do a boolean operation here. So we're going to combine. We're going to subtract. We we'll see the main body is this body and then we're going to subtract that body. Okay. And it should fit perfectly in there. If we isolate this uh, combine here we can see that we have a all the spots that we need for it. It's perfectly uh, subtracted. Now we're going to add some more features to this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide this body right here. We're going to make a hole for the camera. So we're going to make a new sketch here. Convert entities, features, extrude cut, through all, and make sure it just goes through this body, which it should. Then we're going to make a cutout for the rest of this at the bottom here. Reverse that and go through all. And make sure it just goes through this body. Great, so now we've uh, brought this in from X shape and we've made a few changes. Let's save this file in for the SolidWorks file. So we'll save as. And we're going to call it the tablet holder. V2. Now, I want to make a change to this tablet holder. I think this shape is too boring. We want to make some other fun shapes that we're going to sell. Let's go over to X shape and make a new revision for this. So I'm going to go over to the lifecycle tab here and I'm going to press make a new revision. We're going to make a B2 where we're going to change 
the shape of the holder. And I'll open that new revision. Now with this new revision open, we're going to edit the subdivision surface. We can always go back to the old shape by double clicking and going to the, the previous revision. Now we want to add, we're going to add some fun shapes into here. And since I still have symmetry turned on, we're going to go ahead and utilize it. So the first thing that we're going to use here is on the subdivision tool, it's called the flex tool, but it really should be called the taper tool because we're going to use it to add a taper or a draft here. So I'm going to select all these points, select this tool, and we're going to flip the end of the start line, the flex line, and we're just going to flex it out like this. Give it a nice draft. When I like the shape, I'm going to hit the green check, and now I'm going to start pulling on some other nodes here. And grab this. Now I'm going to grab these points, right mouse click, orient the robot to the screen and then start pulling these in a little bit and I can scale with this blue dot here the dot on the end All right. now it's starting to get this really cute looking shape which I'm starting to like So now we're going to we're going to try to sell this heart shape version here. Now we're going to pull these back lines up just a little bit. Let's just do that show cage and surface. We need to make sure that we grab all of the ones in the front here. Once we like this shape, now we're going to go ahead and save this. And then we're going to re export. And we are going to re, we want to call this the same name. So we can just press export here. And we're just going to overwrite the same file. So it has to be the same file, same name, and replace it. The internet told us that it's downloaded. So now back in SolidWorks, we're simply going to use 3D Interconnect to allow the change to update. So we're going to right mouse click on the tablet holder. Because the name of the file, because this is being managed by XShape and the file changed, SolidWorks notices that we can update this model. So a simple right mouse click, update model, and allow the changes to propagate. All right, and we can simply edit this sketch here and replace any missing dimension that we see. So here, this one's missing. And so we can use the reattach relation handle to reattach it, or we can go to display delete relations, find the dangling one, and replace with the new edge. Simply hit replace. and repair and now we have a nice update and all of the other features come in and we're able to change the shape with a simple right mouse click so to pretty this up here I'm going to start by showing the tablet then I'm going to go to my display manager here open up the decals right mouse click add a decal I can grab any TIFF, PNG, JPEG from the internet here. And for the mapping, we're simply going to click on this face. And I'm going to fit it to the width and height selection so that it, the whole screen is enveloped here. And that's what's shown on the screen. We'll do the display manager and we're going to do the shaded without edges here. And then in the appearance, we've got appearance, 
and we are going to go to grab some blue plastic here. This is a nice looking textured plastic that we plan on making this out of. This way, so it's kid friendly and it can also protect the galaxy. My name is Jacob Baykowski. Thank you for tuning in to this tutorial on modeling a tablet holder with SOLIDWORKS in X-Shape via 3D Interconnect. Thanks and have a wonderful day.